When simplifying algebraic fractions, sometimes we have to use something called the minus one trick. When we have an algebraic fraction like a minus c over c minus a, sometimes we're tempted to cancel, to say, oh, there's an a on the top, there's an a on the bottom, I can cancel them. There's a c on the top, a c on the bottom, I can cancel them. This is not allowed. Why? Because the a and the top of this fraction is part of a binomial. You can't cancel just a part of the binomial. You have to be able to cancel the entire binomial. Another thing is to say, oh, a minus c looks like c minus a. They're the same. I can cancel them. That is also not allowed. Why? Because this a on the top is positive a. This a on the bottom is a negative a. They are not the same binomial. So what do we do? The trick is factor a negative 1 out of either the top or the bottom. Let's see what happens when we factor a negative 1 out of this binomial a minus c. Here's the negative 1 we're taking out. a divided by negative 1 is negative a. And negative c divided by negative 1 is positive c. You have a negative 1 and you have a binomial negative a plus c, which can be written backwards. Negative a plus c can be written c minus a. So the negative 1 trick is a trick to allow you to write a binomial with a minus sign backwards. a minus c becomes c minus a, but only if you factor out this negative 1. Okay, if we have a minus c over c minus a, and we do the negative 1 trick, we end up with negative 1 times c minus a over c minus a, and now the binomials are the same and we can cancel them. Our answer to this question is negative 1. One little reminder, if it's a plus sign instead of a minus sign, a plus c is the same as c plus a. This a is positive, so is this one. This c is positive, so is this one. a plus c equals c plus a, so we are allowed to cancel the binomials when they're written backwards if it's a plus sign. Let's do some examples that involve the negative 1 trick. In this fraction, the only thing that we might be able to cancel is b minus a squared and a squared minus b are the same, but only if we do the negative 1 trick. So let's do it. The top, if I factor the negative 1 out, becomes negative 1 times a squared minus b. The b plus a squared remains the same. The bottom remains the same. Now I can cancel the a squared minus b, and my final answer is negative b plus a squared over a squared plus b squared. In example two, both the x minus y and the y minus x, and the b minus w, w minus b, can be cancelled if I do the negative 1 trick. I have to do it twice. First, I'm going to factor a negative 1 out of x minus y, and I get negative 1 y minus x. The b minus w I'm going to leave the way it is. Now, the w minus v on the bottom, I'm going to factor a negative 1 out of that, and it becomes b minus w. The y minus x on the bottom remains the same. This allows me to cancel my b minus w's, cancel my y minus x's, but I also can cancel my two negative ones. Is the final answer zero? No. The final answer is one. In example three, I have three situations where I can do the negative one trick. This time I'm going to factor the negative ones out of all three binomials on the bottom. The numerator remains the same. P minus Q, S minus T, D minus E. The bottom, my Q minus P, I'm going to factor a negative 1 out of it, and it becomes P minus Q. My T minus S, I'm going to factor another negative 1, and it becomes S minus T. And my E minus D, I factor out a negative 1, and I get D minus E. 
Now I can do some canceling. P minus Q cancels top and bottom. S minus T cancels. D minus E cancels. I now have a fraction with a 1 on the top and three negative ones on the bottom. What do I do with them? Well, I know negative 1 times negative 1 cancels into positive 1. So all I'm left with is a negative 1 on the bottom. I have 1 over negative 1, and that simplifies to negative 1. If you can do these examples with the negative 1 trick, then you are ready to use the negative 1 trick in your algebraic fractions course.